All right, what is up YouTube? It's your boy Raj from Raj Reviews, and today we'll be talking about the difference between the Nike Solo Swoosh line and the preceding or the outgoing Nike Lab line. Um, essentially, these two uh, brands or like lines have pretty much meshed into one. Uh, so basically, I think a couple years ago, I made a video on the Nike Lab Crew. Um, essentially, after that, I think I got some follow-up questions asking about the differences between, I guess, something like the Nike Lab line versus something that has been rebranded as the Nike Solo Swoosh. So today we'll kind of clear up some stuff and I'll show you guys the difference between the revised versions and what has just recently came out with Nike's uh, new Nike Solo Swoosh line. So without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so getting to both the hoodies right here. Uh, first, we're gonna get into like the Nike Lab sweatshirt and the outgoing Nike Solo Swoosh sweatshirt as well. Essentially, they're both the same hoodie as you can see right here. I'm gonna put some B-roll right here, just kind of comparing it a little bit more in depth. Um, so basically, they're the same hoodie. Um, again, the sizing and overall fit and feel have been exactly the same since, I guess, whenever they decided to switch it over to the Nike Solo Swoosh line. So I've been basically rocking the same size and pretty much experiencing the same thing for the last three, four years. Um, so I have this green one that I just recently picked up back in, I think, in the fall-ish. So as they were kind of slowly like decreasing the prices, I ended up picking up one. Um, really good value for the money as well. Um, so essentially, you kind of get, I guess, like the basic um, style of the hoodie. Um, as you get, it's like kind of like the Nike Lab like cutting, um, oversized, and also the same kind of hoodie and a uh, hood and um, pocket placement as uh, usual. So nothing too much different uh, from there. The only thing that's probably I like from my previous review as well. Um, it's probably the drawstrings kind of being a little bit more of like a, a styling feature rather than being actually useful drawstrings. Um, and also again with the hood having like that, that double stitch um, pattern that kind of goes all the way throughout the hood itself. Which is good because it adds extra I guess like structure towards the hood. So you do get that durability with it. So I will say that this outgoing model and that previous Nike Lab one are quite good um, in terms of durability and the structure on um, the stitching work as well. Um, I really don't see too much different kind of going into that newer edition one. Um, so basically getting into the newer one. Um, so this one released about, I believe, I believe, uh, I think it was 2023 winter. So pretty much January-ish. I started seeing them update the store with a newer version, um, crew, uh, sweatshirt and crew neck. Um, so I have the black one right here. So as you can see, it basically fits exactly the same as the outgoing model. Um, essentially the sizing as well as like the true to size. Um, so I rock a medium, it fits the same. The, the sweatshirt body itself is pretty much the same. Only thing that's gonna be different about it is actually the hood. Um, as you can see with the stitch work, it's gonna be more of like a single stitch that kind of goes up to maybe about like, I don't know, the middle of your upper head. Um, so kind of like right there. And I believe that does help in terms of like when you put the hoodie on halfway, um, you do have a little bit more like flex and I guess like comfort as well as a result. However, you do have that compromised structure as opposed to that double stitched um hood as well so the one thing that is improved and i think is a greatly appreciated is that these drawstrings are now more functional uh just because compared to these that i have right here these ones as you pull them they kind of start kind of reverting back it just hit me in the eye um but basically they start reverting back to that original uh position that they were in before so it's a lot more elastic as a result um but this newer one as you can see you can bunch it up you can pull it um it's honestly a much needed i think change so i think i do really like it and also look at this like it really just stays there's no other problem with that so until you start pulling it then it will revert back like a traditional hoodie um but overall i think the only difference is really is going to be in the hood um you do also have these like metal holes right here which i do think also elevate this hoodie and make it look a little bit less uh cheap i think i guess if you look at it from this end it does not really look as luxurious as that, as that new one so again i do think it is a much needed i think welcome change um again overall i think the only differences you're probably going to see with this one is that the outside material they use um is the same however on the inside you're going to have more of a felt like material so it might feel a little bit cooler um again it's not a, too big of a deal for me i do really like what where it's currently going and i think i'd be wearing both of them equally as much um so yeah and i think overall either way you go with it if you buy a on sale version of the outgoing one versus the new one. It's probably gonna be the best value for the dollar. Um, in my opinion, I think that's just my thoughts about it. I've owned this for about two years now and I could say that like this one is probably the best quality hoodie I've owned from Nike. And I even would go on to say it's pretty much better than the reverse weave from Champion. Uh, just because again, you have a lot more warmth and even with its shrinkage, um, there is gonna be shrinkage with this, despite what some people might say it may not shrink. Um, there is gonna be a minimal shrinking 
Um, so even then, it still fits pretty well. This gray one still fits perfectly fine on me. Um, even though that it shrank, I think I kind of liked it a little bit less, um, like, like feeling like it was gonna like eat me. I think just drowning in the hoodie is just too much for me personally, but not enough to go down half, a full size. I trust me, I do not think that would be comfortable. Um, but going true to size, definitely I recommend that. And again, owning this for two years, I honestly think that this one um, will like outlast most hoodies in like most people's closets. Uh, I think with that video, I compared a club fleece to the um, crew neck version. Um, that crew neck I still wear to this day. It's been about two years now. Um, of like continual wear. Um, so I do expect these ones just to last just as long, if not longer, just because the construction and the actual materials used are quite good for the money. Um, and also at a reasonable price, they do retail for hundred dollars, but you can always guarantee you can get these for discounts. Um, these do flash sales, whenever they have a sale at the factory store, they may or may not have these. They are a pretty easy hoodie to miss because of it's it's a very subtle hoodie and if you know you know essentially so that's something you also got to keep in mind of um i was able to pick up that black one as you saw in the video for about 29.99 at my outlet so lucky me i found that one um but essentially it is a really good hoodie for the value um for the money i think it's a really high value item so overall those are my thoughts kind of my buyer beware uh i guess analysis of this um i do think it's a really good hoodie and i recommend anyone is a strong pickup it's a staples and essential item so i do recommend this so um yeah uh love to share these thoughts and again catch i'll catch you guys in the next one and i'll see you in that one all right peace